The rutting day decided it was time for us to wake up, so we made a coffee and then Mark decided that the shenanigans needed to start immediately. To understand why my van was branded with a sign that says I'm syphilis free, we need to go back to a previous video of mine where my wife made a pretty controversial statement. Is that, is that real hair or is that a wig? Well, um, I listened to Joe Morgan when they said they were, we were wigs. We got well for syphilis. something. Oh no, yeah, they had syphilis apparently. <laughs> Danny Mettons. No, Joe Morgan. So you're saying the Scottish people all had syphilis? No. I was almost about to discover the sign when a perfectly timed distraction came from Aiden, so we pushed off to start our 10 hour drive with that sign perfectly attached to the back of the van. Scotland does best last night and they've just absolutely poured down and because Aidan's never ever been to Glencore we didn't really want his first view of Glencore to be in the dark and in quite a heavy rainstorm so we decided to stay a little bit before Glencore overnight we're getting up in the morning now it's well it's not really the morning too much it's quarter to ten but we're driving through Glencore shortly we're coming up to it hopefully he enjoys it the views and the weather's perfect it's such a beautiful place the colors are amazing we've seen some stags kicking around it's been fantastic and beautiful as it always is in scotland <laughs> situation now where every corner just offers you something different and the smile on my face is just getting bigger and bigger. As we pulled over to grab the drone I had a sudden realisation that this video would be uploaded to Chris's channel. I took this as the perfect opportunity for my very own Urban Arc Overland brand awareness. Be sure to head over to Urban Arc Overland and grab some merch. Chris. <laughs> In brand everything. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I've got to tell you, I was pretty chuffed with the driving yesterday, if I'm honest. And they kept telling me, You haven't seen nothing yet. You haven't, ah, oh, I can't even show you what is to each side of me. This, this is my kind of driving. I do like the open, windy roads with nothing about, but to be honest, when it's all closed in and it's a bit, you know, there's rocks either side and there's waterfalls coming down the side of the road and You've really got to concentrate on your driving. That's the roads I like. Like here, apart from the fact that there's a barrier between me and it, that is a descent there into death. As we pulled over into yet another lay-by, I thought I'd pull Mark on some of his questionable driving techniques. Yeah, Mark, you pulled in there, you didn't indicate. What was that? What was the thought behind that? Yeah, it's just a Scottish thing. Right, this this might be better now, it's right beside us. indicate when it's not a corner and then don't indicate when it is. <laughs> yeah, something like that, yeah. We left Glencoe to make a push for Fort William. Despite my best efforts, Chris was still oblivious that the sign was on his van. I didn't know you were syphilis free. When we pulled into Morrison's, Aidan had gave the game away. Chris had caught him taking a photo of the sign. Unfortunately, I was clueless that the major revenge was on the cards. Right. You know, he's put that sign on the back. Oh, have you seen it? Yeah, yeah, I've seen it now. We we'll need to try and figure out a way <laughs> that we can get it on. He's born at his. Yeah. Here he is, Trish, he's coming. That's a nice hat. Make sure you capture some footage of his hat. <laughs> what? That sign on the back. The fact it's magnetic as well. I thought I was going to have to peel it off, so I'm glad you've done it that way. How nice that is. Imagine what the people were making it with a feeling. <laughs> I know. They're the one who were getting all the looks. I'm like, <laughs> man, everyone loves me, Van, eh? Yeah. <laughs> you can blame your wife for that one. Uh, That's what happens when you get married. 
Oh, well, that's he's throwing you right nice, under the bus. He's got some nice drone footage of me syphilis free value. <laughs> <laughs> Danny said last time we were in Scotland um. and well stuck on the back of the van so while he was filling up I managed to sneak it back on his van and stayed on Gaz went and distracted him when he got in so he didn't get out again to check his van because he is a little bit I think he suspects that I may have done it but anyway it's on the van I decided it was time for the first challenge of the trip a miles per gallon challenge which of course I should win comfortably. Right guys, let's get them uh, average. We're, it's the average one that we're after. Um, get that zeroed. That's me zeroed. Roger that, zero. I'll probably be the worst. Driving a four wheel drive, fully loaded. I definitely think that Chris has manipulated this challenge because he knows he's gonna win. After leaving Fort William and driving almost exclusively uphill for over an hour, Chris at this point decides everyone should check in on their miles per gallon. So let's go for an update then where we're at miles per gallon wise, let us know where you are at. I'm saying at 24.8. That's still his real load. 23.8. Yes! I love being a winner. <laughs> I bet you were pleased when you found out as well, were you, Mark? Oh, yeah. You know above that uh, Roman home sticker that you've got, Mark, there's like that sign. Where did you get that, that sign made? What sign? The sign on the back of your van. You were pleased when you found out and got the all clear. <laughs> You're an absolute dick. <laughs> After leaving Mark to wallow in regret for a while, we pushed on for another hour. During our next pit stop, Chris immediately decided to wind us up about how good his MPG was. At this stage, I had to remind him he was driving a Volkswagen. So I was like, what? Well, everyone's just lied there. I never no, lied at I all. Didn't like 23 once. miles per gallon. I was in like 33 at the time. No, no honestly. That's what I get. Yeah, that's how you're getting now. You've got to be in like late 20s, surely. 24.9 miles no, per Mine's like 30. 25 mine's like or something. again? It's unlike Volkswagen to lie about their MPG, <laughs> though, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. yeah, Volkswagen never lie about MPG or uh, consumption. That. We use that as well. Yeah. yeah. At this point, I want to tell the viewers, if you click the screen and then press in here, there's a little box that says CC. That's closed caption subtitles. If you click that, the YouTube <laughs> software will try its hardest to translate what these two idiots are saying. <laughs> More so, yeah. I, can't, I, can't promise, I can't promise the outcome, but it may help. <laughs> now, although Aidan had raised a very good point about my miles per gallon, I wasn't going to let that little conspiracy theory ruin my fun. Since Aidan had our cameraman Gaz in the van, I asked him to overtake us a few times to get some footage, and as soon as he finished that, I decided it was the perfect opportunity to ask for another mile per gallon update. Let's go for an update on the miles per gallon. I'll start. 31.3. 27.0. I think he's saying 27.0. That sounds like he's saying 30. Can I just start by saying that in my defence you just had me overtake everyone three times? <laughs> well I also had to overtake once. 26.3 I'm walking this. This isn't even a challenge really, this is in the bag for me to be honest. I can't see any feasible way. This is me, I'm going to you to where I wouldn't win. <laughs> I can't believe we've stopped for this. What? Are you, are you not having any food? I am, I am having food. 
human <laughs> <laughs> edible. Yeah. Mate, that looks like Webox chub. <laughs> why, why now? What are you doing? It's a bit dry. <laughs> <laughs> What's it? They all saw the ice away. Let, let me, let me. Oh, I've got something to show you. We need. While he's here, we need to get the sign and get it on Aiden's wall. What you got? <laughs> Tell me the difference between <laughs> dog's dinner, <laughs> between dog's dinner and Chris's dinner. You know what though? There might be something of this because Danny made this. She might have just bought that and put it in a tub. I would, yeah. I would. What is that? Seventy-five percent turkey. Have you tried it? Sweet potato vegetables. Have you tried it or not? <laughs> Give it a whirl. <laughs> <laughs> That's horrible. <isn't> it? <laughs> That's <how I'm> <laughs> <laughs> Dog, oh man, it's got bits on it. Chris had come up with a plan to distract Aidan with his horrible food. I climbed up and put the sign on his roof. Surprisingly, it worked perfectly. I'm sure, yeah. After I got Mark to put the sign on Aidan's roof, I thought it would only be fitting if I immediately stitched him up and came up with yet another plan, but this time siding with Aidan. So essentially what's happened is you've had a double cross and, um, well, Mark has put the syphilis magnet thing on your roof while we were having some food. So what I was thinking of is it's only fitting that the person that brought it goes home with it and finds out at this exact point on the video that it's actually on his roof now, weeks later, uh, what do you think of that? I want to know if you were part of the first conspiracy to put it on my roof, mate. Mm, no, I, I didn't actually know about it, to be honest. Um, and I think Gaz actually got it on footage when I found out that it was on your roof, and I was suitably shocked and surprised that it had been done, to be honest with you, so... Okay, well, it definitely does sound like a plan, mate. Um, syphilis plan is a go. Pushing on for a couple of hours, we arrived at the base of the best driving road of the day, Applecross Pass. I had been looking forward to this all day, as had the other two. The Lakna Bar. Scenery is just epic. This is my style of road. So apparently this is Applecross Pass, which, to be fair, I already hate. It's awful. Well, I managed around five minutes on Applecross before we pulled over, and then, of course, I started mourning. Well, as I was saying, um, this, to me, there's nothing fun in this. I mean, there's a Land Rover reversing down the mountain with a BMW pretty much pushing it forward. Another Land Rover having to reverse back again. This, why anyone, why, why would you want to do this? Well, this is awful. So, like this isn't a driving road. That's what I was literally saying to the camera. This is apparently a driving road. That people when I didn't do this on the NC500 were like, I can't believe you haven't done this. What is the fun in this? Okay. It's right. narrow. The, view is, the, the views are nice, but they're now when you get so that's what's open if you here up, and then just in that valley, then it's the big switchbacks, which you're looking down on big drops. Are we ready for this amazing driving Scotland. road? We're in Scotland. Are we ready? We're in Scotland. For, we're ready for this amazing driving road. Up to the top.
That's what I was saying. That's what I was saying. Like, obviously, we are. With you act like there's no wind in Norway, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, with us being obviously the stars of the show, I didn't want us to put ourselves in any unnecessary risk when we can just let guys oh, find yeah. the camera no, and, totally, and we'll totally stay. appreciate it. We'll what stay. I'm gonna do is keep talking here for a bit because he's ready up there on the rocks. <laughs> <laughs> is he ready? <laughs> Gary, mate, you are top banana. You are like a mountain goat. Fair play to you. We are. Ready to go, get over the other side, get away from this horrible road and find somewhere nice. Head across to Avimo, have a pint. Have a It is all right. That's I like it. it. I give it a six. <laughs> six out of ten. I can't believe you just think that is all right. It's a it's six. Better than all right. It's a six out of ten. Yeah. What is that view? <laughs> Why is it is whistling on my van? What's whistling on your van? Help with the wind going into the snorkel or something. I was gonna get one of them, that's too annoying, I'm not having that. This is all right, but the Kangoms is better than this. That's a better drive, a better road. It's not as... Come to see the best driving scenery, you kind of watch the scenery because you're reversing down because yeah. f***ing Larry in his Land Rover <laughs> needs to be down. Yeah, I'll give you that, like... That, that's Mark at one point said, look to your left, and I was like, I yeah, can't. at my peril. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you can't. Imagine your yeah. wife's face coming up on some of their roads. But that's the thing though, that's that's what I mean about my, for me a driving road is like the Glencoe. Yeah. You can just drive, stick your yeah, cruise Glencoe control nice. on, it's beautiful as you're and driving. That, the the road between it, Dorian Castle and that, yeah, going that's through same. the valley there. Was... So like he's just confirmed even that is better than this. That's what we're looking for, the best driving scenery. Yeah. The scenery's nice, but you kind of see off it because you're skitting out all the time. Are we done there now? Yeah. yeah. Come on then. <laughs> Finally, it was time to push off to Aviemore, one of my favourite places in Scotland. The lads had told us that when we get there, they wanted to go for a bit of an adventure, and unfortunately, I didn't realise that the adventure they were talking about would be a lot less comfortable for me than it would be for them. Got a bike ride. Can you come out? Ask your mum if you can come out. I haven't got a bike. You ain't got a bike? All that van, you not got a bike? I've got stump pegs, I'll sit on the front. Oh, Mark. Oh, go get him his bike. We've got one. We've got a bike, What size of leg are you? There you go. Come prepared. <laughs> now, see if you got gloves as well. We've got some gloves for you. <laughs> I don't want you to hurt your hands. Where hand. you getting them from? <laughs> oh, yes. Do you know how hard that is to find adult Spider Man gloves? Yeah, how far are we going? A couple of miles. As far as the road takes us. <laughs> Do the brakes work more important? Oh, that goes right up your crack there. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, lad. He's gone. Oh, <laughs> Chris had done better on the wee bike than I'd imagined, so we tied him to the back of my bike and towed him as fast as we could down to the beach. He's We had some more fun on the bikes and then decided it was time for a good old drink at the best pub in Scotland. 
Who drinks that? That's Ming and that. Oh. Okay. How old's yours? Three years old. No way, is that shape? That thing, that ugly. <laughs> <laughs> you're going to talk to him about ugly vans? <laughs> you're going you're to talk about ugly vans? <laughs> that's the worst. That's a 2019 band. plate. Is it actually? Yeah, you got ripped. <laughs> <laughs> I got that's it for not, free. That's not 2019. Yeah. Is it actually 2019? But when it comes to driving roads, what do you actually look for in the perfect driving road? Because if, if it's me, I'm looking for something that I can enjoy scenery with. Well, I like the challenge, so we're different. So I it's, like the but challenge. But why though? But then, well, because, like, how can you enjoy the challenge when you're I in do. A, look at the length of that. Exactly, but you look at Chad that lives the van life. Chad with living the van life. You enjoy the challenge of driving because it's so cumbersome. I understand that if you are in, a sports car, you want to do long floaty roads with lovely gorgeous scenery either side and you want to be able to achieve 80, 90, top 120 and then back to 60 through the corners. We are not driving those vehicles. We have... You used to or not? You're not either. They're, they're, our they're, vehicles... They're, they're our, aerodynamic. It just sounds like that because it rattles so much. <laughs> all of our... <laughs> you you no. sound like you got a cherry bomb, but that's just your spice <laughs> rack. <laughs> this debate went on long into the night and made less and less sense right up until the early hours of the morning. We might have had a few too many drinks last night. I might be a bit tired today. We've got the last road to go and do in the Cairngorms and then off home. Weather looks nice and we're in the beautiful Aviemore so at least something's going well this morning because my head's banging. I don't know how I feel about them to be honest. <laughs> you don't need to feel anything about these mate to be honest. See that? Why have you, <coughs> why, why have you got that much jam? How often do you eat jam and eat that many little jars of it? Still, still. Is that what it is? <laughs> <laughs> he knows. He's Scottish, he knows. Gentlemen, take yourself a piece of wood. They're all the same. Cut from the same IKEA bed. <laughs> take yourself a Thurseer and rod. Last one to make fire is a rotten egg. You want to live in Norway? You want to live off the land? You want to give it the big I am? Let's go. You're allowed, um, you're allowed cutting implements from your van if you've got one. Oh, he's got, he's got a tomahawk. Who, he who, who this one. Who brings <laughs> No, not a tripod. You use the camera tripod. <laughs> <laughs> See? I never anticipated how much he is uh, a awesome. born winner. I've been watching Aiden put a lot more effort in than me and even he couldn't get the fire going so I thought I'd improvise or, well as some people call it, cheat. <laughs> We have a winner! <laughs> I think I've made a score. I don't think that's possible. No, it? <clears throat> oh, it's good. It's good. You're not. Yeah, he has not. got it. He's got it. Yeah. Has he got it? Obviously me and Chris oh, didn't want Eden to win, oh, so Chris had passed well. me some bits of wood that were already on fire. Is is? Unfortunately, I don't know what was going on, I just couldn't keep them alight. So I decided <laughs> to improvise. <laughs> Surely! Come on! <laughs> Well, we have a winner, a second place, and a <laughs> loser. <laughs> I'm actually out of breath in that. <laughs> and I still don't know. <laughs> Andy smashed his van. He's got a tomahawk. 
He's got us everything. You even put firelighters in there, didn't you? He still, yeah, couldn't, still, he still couldn't get it going. At least that just used a bit of tissue. And a naked flame. No, but well, if that's what you call a firelighter. <laughs> I refused to stoop to the level that the others did and decided I wasn't leaving until my fire was going. Unfortunately, the other two didn't have the same mindset and when I finally did get my yes. fire going, they were gone.